It is difficult to come by a more potent equivalent of adventuring in real life than going on a trip with nothing but a backpack and pocket change. This is a theme we wanted to explore in Outward. In that regard, the backpack is very emblematic of our game. This piece of equipment will affect your experience as much as your weapon or your armor. Will you pick a large backpack so you can stock up more on your travel, such as a large fur tent, plenty of food and a cooking pot to be more comfortable? Or will you travel light with only a simple bedroll and find the food and water you need along the way? Backpacks are cumbersome, reducing your movement speed and even preventing you from dodging effectively. So unless you have a very small backpack, you don't want to be caught off guard by creatures. Should you decide to venture in a cave or a bandit hideout, it might be safer to leave your bag behind until the area is secured, keeping only the essentials with you. Once you've packed up everything you need, Outward offers four vast distinct regions. They all contain hidden secrets, unique creatures and different obstacles. Chersonese is a mountainous region close to the sea. The enemies in this area are a little more forgiving, but comes winter, an adventurer needs to find ways to fight off the cold, especially at night. The Enmerkar forest has a temperate climate, but ghosts, beast golems and well-armed bandits will keep you on your toes. The poisonous water of the Halloween Marsh makes it wise to carry a healthy supply of antidotes with you as you navigate its islands. The Abrasar Desert's intense heat during the day and vicious cold during the night makes it inhospitable for all but the most prepared travelers. Since traveling is its own experience, Outward doesn't navigate those regions for you. There is no magical objective compass. In fact, the map doesn't even tell you where you are. To find your way, you must look at the landmarks and estimate your position yourself. And as you travel, you will come across many dungeons. The outdoors are vast and you can avoid most encounters if you're careful. But once you set foot in a secret lair or a dark cavern, danger lurks around every corner. Bring your lantern, your sword, and make sure you are well fed and well rested before facing off the worst that the land of Ori has to offer. <laughs>